everyone, it's Victoria here from Bell Vista Studios. Uh, in this video today, I'm going to be talking to you about our human centered design activities mind map. Um, so there's 10 different activities that make up the mind map and they're all focused on human centered design um, to help you apply human centered design in your role so that you can better understand your employees. Um, this mind map and activities are available to download from our creator hub. So check out the link below um, to that if you'd like to download it. Um, for the video today though, I will be talking about employee personas. Um, so this activity helps you gain a deeper understanding of who your employee actually is. Um, a persona is basically something that's going to help you humanize your employees so you can really understand them and empathize with them. Um, so generally you want to make your personas um, specific to what you would consider like your most common employees or um, employees that share a, a similar attributes and lifestyles and that kind of thing. Um, so to create a persona, you want to come up with the details for specific employees. So for example, you'll have their name, which could be something like Lisa. Um, you'd include their age. Uh, we'll say Lisa is 35 years old. Um, the expectations of that particular employee. So for Lisa, we're going to say she's a supervisor. So her role is to supervise the team, uh, meet the requirements of the service delivery model. Um, and then you want to include things like that employee's goals as well. Um, for example, they want to police issues a supervisor. So one of her goals is to maintain good relationships with team members. Um, you also want to look at, uh, look at their challenges. Um, so what challenges does that specific employee face? Um, in Lisa's case, we'll say she doesn't have time to hold performance conversations. So once you have all those details together, you might have need to have a few different personas to cover um, different employees throughout the organization. Um, you want to put that persona somewhere really visible to you so that you can always remember and think about that employee um, whenever you're making decisions or taking any action. You want to keep those people front of mind because um, they're the ones who are going to be impacted. Um, so that's how you can use employee personas in the workplace. Um, I hope this has added value to you. Like I said before, um, that activity and the others listed here on the mind map can be downloaded from our creator hub, which is linked below. Um, thank you for watching.